Welcome to episode two. Uh, this is a series I'm making about making a Telecaster from just raw wood. And last last episode, we we uh, cut out the outside of the bandsaw, uh, routed it, and sanded it. Right, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. So this episode, I'm going to focus on uh, making sure the top and back are completely straight and flat, thicknessing it, uh, routing the routing these edges around the back edge to make it rounded. To start out, um, I'm just going to take a hand plane and a simple this block and clamp and just run over the back of the hand plane. I have a set out, a really shallow cut, a really small cut, so it only takes out the high spots. And after this, I'll sand it down to make sure and check. I keep and consistently check that the back is is nice and flat, which is what we want. So uh, for this, pretty simple is keep it at a very, very shallow uh, cutting angle, or not angle, cutting depth, and just run it over and be sure to knock out all the high spots and check with a, let's see, where's my ruler at? There it is. And check with a nice long straight edge. Already I can see that the, there's the high, the middle is really high. And it, it's just kind of like a big hill right in the middle. So the chisel or the, the plane should be able to take that out. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And the point of the block right here, the point of this block is just to keep it from shifting this way, which will, it will want to. Taking out chips right around here, which is where the high spot is. I switched angles because uh, when I, every time I stroke forward, it would shake the tail. Or this worked out a little bit better. Sanding it. Okay, so I found what bit I'm going to use. This is what it's going to look like. I'll come up close. So, this is what the bit looks like. Just uh, just a quarter of a circle. It's important that the bearing is flush with where, where the blade ends right here. I'm only going to cut maybe down to like right, like right here. Very small amount. Only until I'm comfortable with how much it's cutting and, and it looks good. You could take you could take some off, but you're gonna put some back on. So right now I'm about to do uh, to route our safety safety equipment, maybe 
know, your favorite song. And um, I'm not going to clamp this down because I'll hold it with with the I'll, because well first of all it's really heavy so it won't really move a whole bunch. And if it does start to move, I'll hold it with my other hand because because the bearing will ride on the edges and make it more stable than a normal cutting bit. Okay, start. So, this rod is back, looks really nice, a uh, little bit of edge to clean up. I did make one small mistake right here, if you could see, it just dips in only because the router almost just barely went into, this, into the heartwood. But what I will do is I'll get some sandpaper. some rough sandpaper. I'll work on sanding the outside of the area around it and kind of level it out. It's starting to go. I'm just gonna run this around just to take off that little edge. So I just kind of roughed it out. I'll go over with it uh, with progressive sandpapers a little later. So right now what I'm going to do this back is all done. I'll I'll sand it with a palm sander when it comes time. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thickness sand it on a spindle sander. Um, I don't have a planer, so I can't. So I don't have a machine to run it through to thickness it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a guard with a spindle sander and run it through like that, taking small, very thin amounts off. Uh, pass by pass. So let's go and do that. So welcome back to the spindle sander. So what I'm going to do is I just have this guard set up. I held my clamp and the two clamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass it by smaller increments. So let's set it up like like this. And I'll take off little by little as, as long as I adjust this. Let's start.
in the middle of editing my videos and I'm realizing that all the footage that I took was way too much. If I were to put the video together, it'd be close to a 30 minute video. And honestly, I'm, I'd rather take my time in editing and you know go step by step instead of trying to rush it, all this important stuff into one video. So to recap what happened in this, in this part, we, we flattened the backside and we routed um, with a quarter inch bit uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, with a quarter inch round over bit or, or on the back, flatten that and uh, thickness it on the a spindle sander. That's as far as I've been in this video. In my next video, which will be about pickup cavities, which I'll, which I'll be putting out you know, within a few days, um, that, that, that will be next episode. So, you know, stay tuned on how I did that and how the process go. You know, if you like this episode, go and Throw me a like, you know, if you liked it as so much to, to see more, you know, go and subscribe. So click on, click on the guitar to subscribe. And if you want to see the first episode, click on the ukulele. Let's put it over here. Click on the ukulele to see the first episode. And click on the, and you can click on the Jaguar Finline for the next episode that will be put out. But thank you for watching.